Hi, this is Russ McClay, and this is a tutorial on how to add a very clean logo or watermark to uh, a video using Virtual Dub, the open source software. The, um, the process is pretty si simple and just uses a filter, but in this case I want to show how to do it with an alpha channel and that's something that I couldn't find any other tutorials on YouTube for so that's why I'm creating this one. The first thing we need to do is create our artwork and to use the alpha masking we need two files and so I've used Photoshop to create these two files but anything can be used. The, the logo watermark does not need to be the same size as the video uh, but in this case it is and my video is 1280 by 720 and so are these uh, images. The first image is going to be what we'll, we'll name it the logo whatever the logo name is but it's actually going to be the color of what the logo will be. Now I'm using red to, to make it more clear what we're doing here but this could be white or uh, any other color that you like. So the first thing we do is we create this image and then we save it save as and we want to save it as a BMP file 24-bit and you can see here uh, logo test and we go to save and it says you want to replace it we say go ahead and you can see I've got 24-bit saved here and that's it so that's all we need to do with that one now the next file we need is the mask and basically what this will do um, is it will cut out of that red uh, that first image and so everything that you see white here will become red on the overlay so this is just a black and white image um, and again we save it but with a special note here is that the file name has a special uh, letter in it capital A so you can see the first image which was our red image logo test BMP and now I'm going to save the mask as logo test capital A dot BMP so no matter what file name you use um, just when you create the mask add that capital A at the end of it and this is so the filter will use that automatically now of course these two files do need to be the same uh, size but they don't need to be the same size as the video so um, I don't need to resave that I already have it we can I'll show it to you just override it, it's 24 bit, just like that, done. So that's all we need to do in Photoshop. Now, in Virtual Dub, go to Video, then Filters, and we want to add the logo filter. Now, in most of the distributions of uh, Virtual Dub plugins and filters, they'll have two logo um, filters, but this is the one we want 1.7 by uh, Donald Graft, and we say OK. Now what we do is we browse to those files we created and we only need one load one and that is the logo test BMP and that would be that one the red one and we open that and then we turn on alpha mask now doing this um, there are other ways to to create a transparent background for a logo but I'm only showing the alpha mask because it provides the cleanest uh, logo much cleaner than using transparent color and we can click on show preview see how that's working and as you can see the logo is very clear on the background of the, of the uh, video and uh, you know that's what we want and you can see also that it could be used for not only for uh, uh, for logos and uh, watermarks but it also could be used for for titling a video uh, the plugin or filter has uh, a number of other features such as positioning it XY on the screen, starting frame, and you can do fade-ins and outs with it. Extremely useful tool. So that's how to create a uh, an alpha mask um, for a logo or watermark in Virtual Dub, and I hope that's helpful.